Hello all, welcome to my channel All Set Ready. So in the previous video we saw our wheel got jammed and also that's because the brake pad got broken inside. So we have to change the brake pad. So that's how I have made this video. Okay, so when it comes to brake pad, right? So Maori 800 car has two types of brake pad. So one is a BA type and another one is KBX type. So I'm not sure which model suits for my read. So I bought both and one I will return after I use. So uh, let me show you the model first. So this is one model. And this is the another model. So difference is not much bigger. The difference is very less between these two. Let me show you on hand comparison. So size wise both are same. There is no difference. Only the place where I'm showing my hand right there if you see in one model it will be a closed type and here it is of open type that's the difference so here it is open type and that side it's a closed type so for our car the closed type is the one that suits us so the one which is on the left side right so that's the one suits for our car so it's an mpfa four speed model so now let's move on to changing the brake pad i mean brake shoe more that we have to remove this brake drum so first we have to remove the wheel then this brake drum which we can see in that uh, previous video of car wheel getting jammed and now what we have to do is we have to remove the brake shoe for that we have to remove the two clips on left and right we have to press and twist that's it okay similarly on that side press and twist with this the brake pad used to come out it's a simple method just pull out and then we have to remove the springs one by one okay so now the brake pad came out Next what we will do is we have to do is we have to remove the handbrake wire that is linked to that right so we have to remove that. So first what we will do we will separate the two brake pads just we have to remove the three springs that's it. So it came out. <laughs> Keep this I mean secure the spring properly and to remove this uh, handbrake right you have to just pull and push that's it. So it comes out. So that's it we have removed the brake pad just clean the inside portion once. Yes we are done. Next what you have to do is in one brake pad right so let's compare which brake pad actually suits let me show you clearly. So here is our old brake pad so if you see it's of closed type and this one right this one is of open type which never suits our need so we will keep this aside. Before that okay so before that what you have to do is let's open the pack and keep it ready. So this one is not an OEM, it's a Bosch part. I got it for 460 for both the sides. And in one of the old brake shoe, right, if you see there is one clip that links to the uh, handbrake. So we have to remove that. So it will have a binder clip. Just remove the binder clip and separate that from the old brake pad. It's a simple step. Just a, you have to remove the binder clip and I have to push it out. At some cases the nut will be slight so you can use a spanner or something to loosen that. Okay we have removed the binder clip. As mentioned now let's use some heavyweight material like spanner or something or a hammer if you have to separate that. In our case it came out so this is how we have to link it to the new brake pad. It's a simple just press and hold. And if you need support, as mentioned, you can use some uh, spanner or some heavy weight material like hammer just to push it out. Like this. Once it is done, the next step is you have to put the binder clip. The reverse process of what you have done earlier. With this one side brake pad work gets completed. Now tighten it and place it in the right position right position is nothing but one edge should touch the master cylinder that's the right position that's it the master cylinder is the one that is present at the top that small one right that silver color so first place the handbrake which one which we removed so it's placed 
and put that clip that twist clip right so that this brake pad work would be done for one side so push and twist okay it's done now what we have to do is we have to take the next side brake pad and we have to link this particular part with that brake pad similar way simple process just you have to place it there and use the spring there are three springs okay so one small spring and two large spring you have to place these three springs that's the main uh, purpose i mean that's a major thing in this whole process if you if you have placed it right you are done with the complete work so i am placing the two springs small spring and a big spring so i am placing it near the master cylinder and now the third spring i will place okay third spring so i have placed now i have to just pull and place it in its position now the same the clip right so push and twist that clip with this even this brake pad gets locked in its position so we are done with the whole process so this is how simple to i mean how simple as it is to change the brake pad anyone can do by yourself only thing is you should not have fear while doing for sure there is nothing i mean nothing goes wrong now we'll place back the wheel drum in its position ensure that wheel drum rotates freely else we have to adjust a little yeah it's done with this close the drum place the washer and put the nut back in its position the size for removing this nut or tightening this is 22 mm 22 okay and then we have to place the wheel back in its position that's it so for removal of wheel and for those things i have a separate video and also you can check that in my uh, previous wheel jammed video also so that's it for today if required i'll post the video for right side brake pad change also that would give some additional reference for you okay that's it thank you all so thank you for watching please do like share and subscribe